are gathered here today to remember a beautiful soul. Nafsale.com has passed and left us far too soon. Gone. Buried. Dunzo. But we will not soon forget the legacy that was generated, that was created by the power of Nafsale.com. They will be missed. But not for long, because Nafsale.com is now Blade Binge. That's right, Blade Binge. New name. Same beautiful product. You all know, you all love it. It got me a swimming pool full of knives. It got me a mansion. It got me luxury cars. What else do you want from a website? The sheer power of what used to be called nafsale.com, what is now called bladebinge.com, is overwhelming. In this economy, in this day and age, what you need, you, I'm looking at you, is to set up a Blade Binge account. Sell knives, buy knives, win knives for free. It's easy, it's beautiful. Built by professionals, unlike myself. I just look like one, this is all a farce. This is all a lie. Everything you see here, it's not even real. It's not even real. Go to bladebinge.com, the first link in the description. Buy knives, sell knives the easy way. Your kids will thank you. Your kids will thank you. Hi everybody. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, it's me, it's a Friday. Uh, I'll be surprised if we get 50 people in here because we have a schedule and we stick to it unless things happen and things do in fact happen. It is true. I've, it's been, you know, things happen. Duty calls. When the balls call, I answer that call. I answer that call every single time. Uh, Henry G, what's up, man? Can't believe I'm up this early and catching this. What time is it? What time is it? I was going to start at noon, but that was going to run too late and run into other stuff. I'm all jacked up. I also had to do like seven test streams and re restart my computer several times. So, <clears throat> I'm so sorry. I'm hoping that it's fine now. I don't know what's going on with my streaming software, but it's a real, uh, real pain in the tuchus. I got to tell you. Real two, uh, real 210, what's up, Trey Penton, Jay Dizzle, Friday Live? Yeah, because we didn't have one yesterday. There was no live yesterday. I got to, I had to make up for it. I miss you too much. I wasn't going to make it, I wasn't going to make it all the way to Sunday. You know what I mean? I wasn't going to survive. This is about me more than anything else. It's, <laughs> it's not, this isn't for you. This is for me. I need my therapy. I need my knife therapy, please. Ginger Fisher 75. What's up, man? Joe Knife Guy. Good to see you. Uh, Plenty Pote. Isaiah Barnett. Tyler Williams. Barbarian Brown. Barbarian Brownie. I'm really hoping I'm not stepping on any toes. I, uh, I didn't even bother looking. So forgive me. If somebody else is live, I'm so sorry. If you have raids open, we'll raid you when we're done. You know? But uh, a lot of every time I try to raid somebody, it's like you. Sorry, you can't raid this person. Hello, let me raid you. Let me and my my hordes raid you into oblivion. MK Con, what's up, man? Lone Star Cowboy, good uh, good morning to you. Good morning, Big Hams. What's up, Big? <laughs> what's up, Big Hams? How you doing? Look at those hams. <laughs> uh, Landon Schrock, what's up, dude? Good to see you, Paul. My tier, Joe Knife guys here. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Barbarian Brownie, big updates in the streaming technology world. Mine acted weird. Too. Dude, it's been a mess for like the past two weeks. It just crashes all the time. It's been a nightmare. I think we use the same software or similar. You either use Streamlabs or OBS, which is it's the same thing, just two different brands. Uh, it's been a nightmare, dude. Camera delay, audio delay. I tried to start like a private live stream to test everything earlier and it was, the live stream was running on fast forward, but the audio was slowed down. It was a mess. So it's a miracle this is even happening at all. An absolute miracle. Uh, Rene, Rene Ramon. What's up, man? Jet Life, uh, Jet Life BC. What's up? Is that British Columbia? We talk in BC. British Columbia? Is that what we're talking about? What's up, man? Uh, Gary Rainey Jr., it's a great name. Kind of serial killer-ish. You know, 14 bodies found in the basement of one Gary Rainey Jr. But it's a good name. It's a good name. <laughs> it's a strong name. I approve. I approve. Uh, Vanderput. Ah, uh, hello. My life is delayed. Yeah, dude. Tell me about it. Tell me about it, dog. Uh, tell me about it. Who else we got? One Moon. What's up, man? Good to see you, dude. Good to see you, sir. Mike and Ike's EDC was in here earlier. Nameless EDC. Uh, NFK20. The boys... They'll, they'll filter in. I see Tyler is at Peppa Pig Park. You know, I I don't know what that is. 
But I'm gonna Google it. I'm gonna try to Google it. My keyboard's off. <laughs> e. Peppa Pig Park. Is that a real thing? Peppa Pig theme park in Florida? It's a real thing? There's a whole theme park. Tyler, do you have children? And I'm assuming the answer is yes. And why didn't I know that? Are you saying you were talking like the Asian movies again? No, dude, Henry. It was horrible. It was horrible. Like the video was playing fast forward, even though it was a live stream. But the audio was like a normal speed, slightly slowed down, and then delayed by like 30 plus. It was like unwatchable, unbelievable garbage. Uh, I made it, but now I must work. Have fun, y'all. Gary Rainey Jr., thanks for stopping in, man. I blame you for owning a chupacabra now. Kevin Lamb, I will take the blame. Uh, I'll take the blame. It's fine. It's fine. I was able to get mine sorted out. I literally pulled the spring out, stretched it out a little bit, put it back in. Money. If anything, the detent's too intense now. Savage. But God, it's satisfying. Uh, what's your shirt? Oh, you wouldn't you like to know, you little horn dog? I'm not done talking about Peppa Pig uh, Park here, too. I need to know more about this place. I can't believe there's a whole ass theme park. I'm not a geisha. <laughs> Are you kidding me, dude? Look at this place. Look at this place. Look at this place. It's a wonderland. A veritable wonderland. I'm headed to my live. I'll catch you after I open up some new knives. I'm sorry, dude. I, again, I apologize if I'm stepping on anybody's toes. I really am sorry. I just wanted to make up for yesterday's misstream. Um, and I didn't know, I should have known, I should have known, but I was going to miss you guys too much. Sorry, Brawny. By the way, if you guys are in here, be sure to pop over to Brawny and at least drop them all. A likey poo, blow him a kiss. Donnie Barajas, what's up, man? Happy Friday to you. Got my mango, got my mango chainsaw going, boys. Yeah. Delish. I've had no caffeine yet today, so we'll see how this goes, but whatever. Joe Isabella, what's up, man? Chicken fried steak, good morning to you. How you going? Eh? I, dude, I do not see us getting 100 people, but I have such spicy new arrivals that you need to see. Spicy. I'm talking hot. Spicy. I can tell you what I did this morning. Um, because we had been talking about sharpening systems so much lately, uh, I got, it was in the mood to do a little sharpening and, uh, I did, I did, uh, this, I beat the hell out of this. This is the, uh, the Cindy, the, uh, fucking, uh, NAFS Cindy or Civivi Cindy by Ben Peterson by NAFS, uh, Nitro V, I think. Yeah. Nitro V. I had, ne I don't think I'd ever really put Nitro V on a sharpening system before with good diamond stones. It took like two seconds. It took like two seconds. I, uh, I, I've been complaining a lot about the uh, Precision Adjust Pro, but for like 85% of knives, it's great. It's great. It's borderline idiot proof. It's just that 15% that really pisses me off, really grinds my gears. But good news, kids. Good news. Rene Ramon, yes. I got a hold of uh, the gang at TS Prof. I got a hold of Victor over at TS Prof. He's sending me a Pioneer for starters, and we're going to go from there. And I'm not complaining, you know? I'm not complaining. Uh, he's sending an accessory kit, the Pioneer, an accessory kit, and I hope some stones. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to use it. But yes, I was able to get a hold of him. So shout out Lefty EDC for that contact. I reached out to Lefty. I was like, dude, who do I call? Who do I call? So there is a TS Prof en route sometime in the next week or two. Who knows? Maybe three weeks. Who knows? Paul might thank you as well. Appreciate you. But anyway, yeah, most knives, the uh, Precision Adjust Pro is just dynamite. Is that a scratch? Jesus Christ. Oof. It's all right. It's a cheap knife. But uh, yeah, Nitro V, man, sharpens up like an aluminum can. And that's a good thing. That's a good thing. It takes like five seconds on every stone. You're like, oh, I'm done. Uh, took a killer edge. Great little knife. I like it a lot. This is a good gift for your dad. This is a good dad knife. You know what I mean? I feel like any dad would appreciate a good quality knife that also has tweezers and a toothpick in there. You know what I mean? It just screams dad to me. It's got that old school aesthetic. At least my dad. I know my dad would eat this thing up. Uh, literally swallowed whole. Bill Barry, what's up, man? Good to see you. Kevin Kevin Lamb got a yo jumbo in S90V yesterday. She's big and yes, <laughs> yes. S90 the uh, the yo jumbo's a uh, big big girl. She's a she got some heft to it. Ordered the new CGRB Bowie Pyrite with the rose gold finish, and Amazon canceled my order. Uh, order direct, you dingus. Here. Use that link. Order direct. 
I know it's not, you gotta wait a little bit longer, but order direct. There you go. Um, so I put an edge on that. It's scary. And then I for, I had dolled the living shit out of my archer doing the uh, cut tests when I was breaking down all that cardboard. It was like completely dull, unusable. So I slapped a nice, just a, like a 22 degree on it. Nothing crazy. I think that's what's on it. At least that's what the machine was set to. It took an absolute screamer, dude. This one took a little bit longer. Obviously, Magna Cut 64 HRC, but still really easy to sharpen. Uh, the clamp held this one and the other one really, really well. It's just thicker blade stocks and then bigger blades it really struggles with. Uh, and I have a lot of big blades, man. I'm a big blade boy. I like my big blades. But yeah, the archer just took a freaking Stanley Screamer. Terrifying. I'd be confident shaving with that. I do love this knife. I do love this knife. If you're shopping in this price range, you gotta love the archer, man. Lump! is here it's payday and he is tithing blessings be blessings be lord jehovah bless up bless up so yeah archer's got a new edge on it and she is begging to cut some more dude Woo! factory edge on the chupacabra is holding up great and i've been beating that snot out of that knife too i don't know why what it is about tactiles but every time i get one doesn't matter how much it costs i want to beat the hell out of it i don't know why the archer was one I put that thing through more use and abuse in the first, like, three months of owning it than I have in two years of owning my Koenig Arius. And they cost... The the Arius was cheaper. I paid less for the Koenig Arius than I did for the Archer. I don't know. I have a Stanley Steamer on deck. I <laughs> ah, appreciate you. Appreciate you, pal. You can take me with you. Take me with you. Rick Cotton, what's up, man? Fuzzy Kittens here. Jeff Bezos has something against me. I guess, man. What state do you live in? What state do you live in? Because it isn't New York, you like can't buy knives off Amazon or something? Aren't there a handful of states like that? Dang Ross, looking extra lesbian today? Gee, thanks. Thanks, boo-boo. <laughs> Timmy T, what's going on, man? Good to see you. <laughs> looking, extra, looking extra lesbian today. Wait till you get to the binge. Someone's selling their chupacabra. Yeah, I saw uh, the, the guys in the Discord sent it to me. 500 bucks. Five hundred dollars. <sighs> These dirty little whores, dude. What are they thinking? Uh, excuse me, Virginia. You're in Virginia, and they they won't they won't send you a knife. <gasps> oh, you're not a you're not a big blade boy. I have a lot of big blades though. Just because I don't have big oh knives. My when God. No. It's payday. I'm tithing. Also, my mini hero is showing up today. Also, I love you. Also, l l l l l l l l l l l l l l l l l l l l l l l l l l l l l l l man in steamy room. I always forget about the man in steamy room. Hold on. Whoa! Things are getting wild. Love! Tinkly bells, man. Thank you, dude. Appreciate you, big dog. Get bent 500 bucks. Yeah, that's crazy. Mark Ridgewell, what's up, man? Fook Dussel's here. How you doing? Happy birthmas? Wait, whose birthday is it? Uh, I just got a tactile chupacabra for my birthday, dude. Solid. Solid pickup. Uh, where is my chupacabra? Uh, uh, is it in my bag? In the bag? Might, it might be downstairs. I think I put it in the firefighter slip thing. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I think it's downstairs. Pretty sure, pretty sure. Oh, well. It's in my little EDC carrier thingy-majig. Uh, boo hiss, boo. Oh, I did not mean it. All right, press the wrong button. No. Press the wrong button. Sorry, sorry. Oh Is it Friday? It's Friday, right? Yes, yes, it's Friday right now. It is Friday, my dudes. I never got my Discord link. Fuck, dude. Farts, man. Did you email me? Because you got to tell me who you are. If you email me for the Discord link, but you don't tell me what your YouTube name is, I'm not going to give it to you. Oh. What the hell? By the way, final production pick, uh, production prototype mock-ups are in for the, for the knife. Oh. Oh, dude, I cannot wait. I cannot wait to touch it. 
to touch my knife again. I'm so jazzed, dude. Oh my god. The guys in the Discord have seen it. Um, I've seen the little teasers. Hello? Yeah, it's me, you twat. Hello? I got, God damn it, dude. I got logged out of my email somehow. Don't know how. Yes, it's me. I am me. I promise. I appreciate the security concerns, Google. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes, okay. Jesus, what a nightmare. Anyway, if you email me for the Discord oh link, you got to tell me who you are. Wow. Tinkly bells. Kiss mark. Kiss mark, kiss mark, kiss mark, kiss mark, kiss mark, kiss mark, kiss mark. <laughs> kiss mark. <laughs> the last one? Tinkly Bells. Look at that, dude. Hey, going strong. Going strong with the, uh, the cow lick again today. I emailed you. All right, well, do it again. Uh, <laughs> email me again. I'm not going to go find it. There's so many emails. Flip Solo, what's up, man? Good to see you. Um, I'm, I'm, uh, Paul Mike, thank you so much. Mitchell! Good to see you. The thumb studs on the Chupacabra are amazing. The Chupacabra, in general, is just a damn good knife. Raccoon Tactical, what's up, man? ADHD Hobby Guy, can I message you on Patreon for the Discord link? You can. You can. I haven't checked my Patreon in forever. I need to get better about it. I'm sorry. Patreon's the... I already have to deal with Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and all the stuff that goes with that, you know? I always forget about Patreon. I don't forget about you. I know you're there. There's a lot of you right now. Uh... Thank you. 20 paid Patreons. Thank you so much. Uh, you sweet angels. What the hell? Thank you. Damn. I don't think I've ever had that many patrons. Thank you, patrons. I love you. Thank you so much. What the hell? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Who's Mark? Uh, oh, hi, Mark. Uh, they need to sign a waiver to join the Discord. Honestly, you do need to sign a waiver that what happens in the Discord stays in the Discord. Because if there's one thing that's going to bring this empire crumbling to its knees, it's going to be the Discord. It's just, there are a lot of penises in it right now. Like, a lot. <laughs> like, a substantial amount. <laughs> and they're all in and around my mouth. All of them. You know? That's what you're in store for. So... Yeah, no, I hope you, I hope you can handle it. But uh, what happens in the Discord 100% stays in the Discord. It is a vault. Do you understand me? It is a vault. Speaking of vault, me and Kara started playing uh, our uh, uh, Fallout 76 yesterday, two, yesterday, two days ago. It's a lot of fun. It's a way more fun playing with someone. I got to be honest with you. That sounds weird. But it's way, it, I played that game solo when it first came out, and it needed a lot of work. It was not ready for release. Uh, but now it's been so many years. They've added so much to it. It's so much fun to just play Fallout multiplayer is basically what it is. You just roam around, you and you and your friend, and just f f fuck shit up in the wasteland. To hoot! Could not join the Discord because I'm not a geisha. Woke drama. It's true. It's true. You're not a geisha. Paul Bedigian, what's up, man? I think I said hi to you already, but Arve, what's up? Arve? 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 Ar or uh, Oive? Lump, there's always Patreon. I'll tell you what I'll do for my patrons right now. Text. I'll just add the link to the Patreon right now. Discord link. I'll just do it right now. But you just, I need you to be prepared. I need you to be <laughs> mentally, emotionally, physically prepared for what is in store for you. Knife Addict, Serial Hobbyist, what's up boys? Good to see you. Because it's, uh, it's rough and tumble. It's wild and woolly. Wow. And it's getting worse by the minute. Jesus Christ. Paste. Next. Who can see it? All paid members. Yep. All paid members. There you go. It's in the Discord for everybody. If you're a Discord, a paying Discord member, you can get it. You can get it. You're welcome. Let me close that. So as not... To share it... God, dude, the Discord is... Uh... <laughs> Something else today. <laughs> if you can't handle dicks in and around Cole's mouth and face, stay away. <laughs> stay away. 
Mike Bennett, speaking of Discord, three emails so far, no reply. Mike, I'm so sorry. You know, that's, let's just do that. Mike, uh, how long have you been a member? Good answer. Mike Bennett, Discord, what? I didn't send you a link? All right, all right, there it is. You got it now. You got the link now, pal, don't worry. Chance D, what's up, man? Good to see you. Oh my God! Wow! I must come clean. I only have iOS devices, so I can't physically become a member even in the browser. I hope the donations and joy wait. I bring are enough. Wait, 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 wait. So even if you have a Mac, as long as you're in a web browser, you can become a channel member. There's also paid membership on Instagram, but uh, I think there's like three of you. So thank you. <laughs> thank you thank, to all three of my boys. There's also merch. There's great hot. Look, I wore some yesterday. I was rocking this yesterday. Did, is it dirty? Did I throw it on the ground? Yeah, fuck off, dude. Uh, the uh, Honestly, I think this is my favorite color of this shirt, too. Mike Bennis, you got it, boo-boo. Thanks. Appreciate you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Five months. Hollow Be Like Grind merch on the back and on the front. Just the stash. Just the stash over the titty. Really high quality stuff. Top notch. Fits like a dream. Fits like a dream. It's good stuff. Quality quality goods. Check it out. Links down below. Uh, I need a piss gate. Someone leak the pics, please. Do, don't. 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 Honestly, it wouldn't, it wouldn't... If anything, it'd probably just be very funny for everyone involved. But, you know... Don't do it. Uh, somebody said, Arno. Oh, his name's Arno. Okay. Well, I, I was just calling you Ar. I was just reading your name. But Arno, thank you for being here, man. Appreciate it, brother. Can you please send me the link? Also, emailed you a few days ago. Jay Wiz, what's your name? Oh, what's your, what's your, you gotta, you gotta put your, 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 your YouTube name in the email. Is your name Jason? Is that your name? Is this you? Uh, show some shivs. Where is my shiv? Oh, shit. It's downstairs. I was actually using it. I, uh... <laughs> the shiv I, uh... Flip Solo, what's up, man? The, the shiv I got, the custom shiv I got, was, uh... It's perfect for checking the, the, the wetness of the flower pots. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like, usually, like, stick a finger in, check your wetness. The shiv is ideal for checking the wetness. I also use it to patch a, a dead spot in my yard the other day. So I have been using the shiv quite a lot. It's, it comes in handy. Just remember my birthday before you leak anything. Ooh, okay. All right. Robo Stevio, Mr. Cheezle, Jordan Dangerous. What's up, boys? Good to see you. Uh, greetings, Nap people. Jesse Lee P. What's up? Um, so yesterday I carried the Chupacabra. I really don't think we're getting 100 people in here, so I'm just gonna we're just going to get into it. Just going to get into the meat and potatoes. Carried the Choop was my primary carry. Um, and I have been carrying and loving that, that, and this, and that. Oh, dude, my tum tumbly is rumbling. I don't know why I'm so hungry. What the hell? It is screaming. I wish you could hear it. Oh, that's what my stomach's saying right now. Uh, the, uh, the, the Hedgehog from uh, Vosti. Excellent, dude. I'm loving this thing. So, uh, sounds more like a moisture probe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I love this. I love this. He's going to be, what, 130 bucks. Detents cash money. I use my finger to check the wetness. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I do, in fact. 69 viewers. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Hedgehog's a banger. Uh, not sure if... Is this in stock yet? Uh, oh, I'm so sorry. Bosteed. I do have a Bosteed affiliate link. <gasps> oh. And after handling this, I really want to check out the top liner. Uh, it is. Yeah, dude, you can just pick one up. Hell yeah. Well, here's your Bosteed link. Highly, highly recommend. Uh, boop. There you go. I love this. I, I This is so right up my alley. Little chody guy. Big old choil on it. Love the blade. S35VN. Button actuated liner lock. Top, top lock, whatever they're calling it. Bunch of different versions. I like the black blade. That's sick. That's the one I have. 129, absolutely, dude. Absolutely. Is the Spyderco pin knife good? Yeah, I reviewed it a while back. Genuinely surprised. Um, 
very interesting take on a on a slip joint. It's like a triple detent slip joint. It's very interesting how it's put together. But yeah, the pin knife's awesome. If you want like a super thin, lightweight slip joint with a pocket clip, 100%. Highly recommend, yeah. Jordan Dangerous, please check your email. You want me to do that on camera? Hmm? 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 You mean to just uh, dox you? Found you. I found you. All right, there you go. There you go. Jordan's in. Jordan's in. So lunchtime stream's a breakfast stream for, for me. Well, good morning, Sam. Good to see you, man. Yeah, Hedgehog's sick. I dig it. I dig it quite a lot. Been using it and carrying it the past couple of days. It's just right up my alley. It's like they made it for me, you know? Just cop the Wingman EDC Jet full dress. Gary, you're an animal. Not a cheap knife. I bought a Steel Flame Shirkin last night. My load spent. <laughs> what? <Yeah. laughs> Excuse me? What? Like a legit steel flame shirkin, huh? Yeah, I can't put it down, man. The action's so good. I've been playing with that. I've been playing with it. I've been playing with the hedgehog quite a lot. Of course, been carrying that a lot too. The uh the Bowie Pyrite. Why am I getting a phone call from Hamilton? 782 shipped. Jesus Christ. Gary, you're an animal. Cortex XL arriving tomorrow. Mike McLaughlin, where'd you find it and how much did you pay for it? Yeah, the Bowie Pyrite's sick. Uh, all the colorways are awesome, but this and the, the rose gold are my picks. Ooh, Splatter RR. I do love the splatter that uh, Pocket Sex does. Land Landon, get get one, dude. The, the Hedgehog's sick. 129 bucks. No problem. Raccoon Tactical, send me the Hedgehog for extensive review purposes. Can't do that, man. I love it too much. Cole used the word leak. Leak is, is a synonym for piss. Coincidence? The plot thickens. Bruh. True. True. Very true. But yeah, in stock? I had no idea. I need to get that video out. Eesh. It's going to sell out. That's how it goes, man. That's how it goes with me reviewing knives. They sell out before my video's done. That's just how it goes. He did a pre-order a, a few last month. But how quick did that pre-order go? You know? I just don't have time to just be staring at a screen all day. Even though that's what I do. <laughs> that's what I do. That's what I do. Uh, also, loving the Kingfisher, man. From uh, Renee. This thing's so sick. Action's money. Cutting performance is cash money. M390. Kind of like a bolster lock setup. Big fan of this guy. Big fan. Remay just does not disappoint me. Has never disappointed me. I don't think they ever will. Maybe they will. I, I say that. They could. They could. I do have a new a new Remay. They sent me another one to check out. This one's a little wild. Uh, get an XOU on pre-order. Excited about that one? What is that? XOU? Is that from Rayot? Oh, 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 the utility knife? No, thanks. I'm not a utility knife guy, man. Remay shady? No, they're not. What's wrong with Remay? They're good people. I have no, I have zero gripes with, uh, with Remay. They've been a pleasure to work with. Pre-ordered last month, paid half, paid the other half, and it shipped yesterday. I'm so fucking jealous. I'm so jealous, dude. Damn it. If you leak after you piss, you either need to shake more or see a doctor. Der Peppenhorst. Ah, hello, mein Fraulein. It's good to see you. Drink water. What's up, man? Good to see you. Hoping my Manix 2 comes in today, Chance. You gotta love the Manix 2. But yeah, this one's sick. I like it a lot. Uh, I've liked everything they've sent me lately. Uh, and I have zero gripes with their pricing, with their build quality. All their uh, designs are very original. I got no issues. Paul, you're just trying to kick up dirt. He has all the gripes. Zero gripes. CPM, what's up, man? Good to see you. How you doing, Honk? CPM, you might like the most recent purchase I made. You might actually prove. Probably not. Nothing impresses you. Uh, I want to give away on IG from Rame. They asked me to buy the knife first on Amazon and then leave a review. Then send them an SS and they would refund me? Well, if it's any uh, consolation, the review samples that I get from Rame come from Amazon. They just, they just stay at my address. They just ship them to me from Amazon. Um, 
That's just how they operate. They don't have like their own warehouse and stuff. They use Amazon's warehouses. So there probably wasn't another way. Maybe there was. They asked me to buy the knife first on Amazon and then leave a review. Then send them an SS? Social security number? <laughs> what? Oh, dang Ross, don't get me wrong. I love utility knives. The Fastback, the Ryobi compression lock one. I love utility knives. But anything over 20 bucks, I'm out. I'm out. I don't want it. It's a utility knife. I'm going to beat the living... Pi All of my, my Fastbacks and my Ryobi are like stained. And it has pieces missing off of it. No. I don't want a fancy utility knife. To me, that just like defeats the whole purpose of owning a utility knife. Oh, a screenshot. Asked if that was a joke and they... S and they just sent me the knife. Interesting. Sorry. I don't know. Dude, SS could mean... Could mean a lot of things. Okay. Bad things. All right. Um, sorry, man. I'm dumb. All right. I don't have caffeine. My, my stomach's empty. All right. Give me a break. Okay. I don't stream on Fridays. I don't know what, I, what do I do with my hands? Apparently spill water all over my face is what I'm going to do with my hands. Great. Love that. <laughs> Ew. Uh, no problem with Ramey, but Amazon has sent me the old... Oh, Quigmigs? Yeah, the old name was Quigmigs. <laughs> yeah, I... Yeah. Swollen scrote? I gotta tell you, uh, you guys ever... It's me. I'm not even gonna say it. Never mind. Just got the Kunru Padre DLC landing. Congrats. Great knife. Suck and smash. Kinky. Eat some Gushers and Twizzlers. Those Twizzlers are wild, Mike. Um, we haven't talked about this on stream. Mike sent, via Amazon, Twizzlers. And they're... I, you know what? Let me just go get them. Because they are bizarre. I'm going to eat some. Hold on. They are fucking bizarre. So Mikey sent me these fucking orange, orange cream pop filled Twizzlers. They're good, but they taste exactly like Play-Doh. They taste like Play-Doh. Have you ever had these, Mike? Have you? <laughs> Kara was the first one to bring it to my attention. And now ever since she said it, I can't, dude, I can't get one out. Are we fucking serious? Ever since, ever since she said it, kind of smells like Play-Doh too. I gotta be honest with you. So that 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 scent of Play-Doh is apparently orange cream sickle, orange cream pop. It tastes like Play-Doh. It's so weird. I can't. They're good. Landon, I'm eating one right now. I gotta tell you, I hate Twizzlers. Same, Isaiah. Not a Twizzler guy. But the stuffed ones, the filled twists, are so much better than regular Twizzlers. They're like soft and chewy and delicious. The regular ones are like a fist fight. They get stuck in my teeth. Delish. Not sure what Play-Doh tastes like. Fuzzy Kittens, what kind of childhood did you have? A limp stick to bite down on. That's me. <laughs> uh, Jordan Dangerous, congrats, man. That's awesome. I love the Archer so much. Have I ever checked anything out from Revo? I have not. They reached out to me a long time ago. And we're like, hey, pick a few things you want to review. And I wanted nothing. I wanted to review none of it. <laughs> like, none of their knives do it for me. <clears throat> they taste like Play-Doh smells. Yeah. I don't know what that... Kara apparently had a weird, sad childhood, too. If you weren't eating Play-Doh when you were a kid, what were you doing with your life? 
I feel like I'm the only one who loves the normal strawberry Twizzlers. I can't stand them. Twizzlers, grapevines, get them out of here, dude. It's garbage candy. Ginger Fisher Australian licorice is amazing. What? I'll take your word for it. So they taste like an old BMW? I, sure, I guess. Sure. I, uh, maybe. Uh, soak them in moonshine. They are a lot better tasting. That sounds like trouble, my friend. It sounds like trouble to me. Uh, apology accepted. Narrowly avoided being canceled there. What? Uh, glue and lead paint. Yeah, lead paint chips. Oh. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> my brother always used to say Play-Doh was fun to eat, not to play with. Yeah, I think it's the other way around. I like crayons. Purple's my favorite flavor. <laughs> I like how now we're just talking about eating children's toys. I'm here for it. It's whatever. <laughs> I played with Lincoln Logs and those just taste like wood. Lincoln Logs, dude. Goaded. Goaded children's toy. Out here building log cabins and shit, bro. All day. Dude, Elmer's glue? A+. plus. That's high quality eating right there. Justin, Ohio. Can't stay taking both kids to the doctor here in a few minutes. Just want to say hi and hit the like button. Thank you, Justin, Ohio. Love you, bro. Appreciate you. Hope the kids are doing all right. Liquid Death is the best with those orange cream Twizzlers. So, like, this combo, you're saying this combo right here is, like, the goaded combo? Let do a little test run here. Stop. It tastes like chicken. It tastes like chicken. It tastes like roast, like a rotisserie fucking chicken. What? All right, everybody's homework. <laughs> to make sure that I'm not crazy, which I am. But to make sure I'm not more crazy than I know that I already am. Go get the cream pop orange filled Twizzlers and mango liquid death. Take a bite. Take a drink. It is... It's... It tastes like chicken pasta, like a chicken parm. What kind of chemistry is happening in my mouth right now? That is the most bizarre thing I have ever experienced in my life. It's only for, for a second until you swallow the, it's like right after you swallow the mango, the mango juice. What, what? That's so weird. That's fucking me up. Okay. Well, we're not going to talk about it anymore because I'm having a crisis. Um, what was I going to say? Huh? Huh? What was I going to say? Uh, what was I going to say? Fuck, dude. Oh, glue. Kara thinks I'm weird. <laughs> we're talking about uh, eating glue. Take a poll here real quick. Kara thinks I'm weird because I... Uh, I legitimately love the way, like, heavy industry solvents smell. Like, um, anything, any kind of, like, cleaner or something that's, like, heavily alcohol-based. You know what I mean? Like, paint thinner and uh, ethanol, diesel. Like, all of these real crazy solvents. I love the way it smells. She has this, like, pimple stuff that makes pimples go away. Pure, like, acetone is what it smells like. I love that smell. I love that smell. And she gives me so much shit. She has to, like, hide it from me so I don't huff it. <laughs> I love the smell of, like, heavy acetone chemical. Dude, nail polish remover? One of the greatest smells of all time. One of the greatest smells. Honestly, nail polish as well. Am I the only one, though, that loves that smell? I'm not sniffing it. I just love the way it smells. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> 
Tinkly Bells, thank you, JD, for the gifted, man. Appreciate you, brother. That's called huffing. No, paint thinner, Sharpies, gasoline, smell weird. It's a, it's the best smell. Dude, like I said, uh, uh, kerosene. Kerosene's a good one, too. <laughs> love that. I love the smell of kerosene. We always had kerosene heaters out in the barns. I love the smell of kerosene. So you're telling me that's a kid who grew up in a machine shop. That's true. Yeah, dude. We had this, we had literal solvents that came in big drums. I love that smell. I was just, I think it was just because I was around it my whole life. To me, it's like nostalgic in a way. I'm not huffing it. I am Banks. What's up, dude? Good to see you, man. Haven't seen your face in a hot minute. How you doing, brother? I'm not huffing the stuff. I just like the way it smells. You do whippets too? No. No, never even tried them. It's one of the few drugs I haven't tried, actually. I've tried most. Just being honest. I've tried them all. The, the funny thing is about being ADHD and being heavily medicated for it for 25 plus years, 26 years now, is most, like, uppers don't do anything. They don't do anything. I have, I'm, my tolerance is too strong. <laughs> I take an upper every morning when I, when I climb out of bed, you know? <laughs> so, so, like, most drugs just never did anything for me. Does the hedgehog have a good detent? Yes. Oh, it's incredible. The detent on the hedgehog is cash money, dude. Look at this tiny little flipper tab. See it? Pop. It's great. PV dude, PVC primer and glue. <laughs> Forget about it. Forget about it. We gotta stop talking about huff and stuff. Yeah, dry erase markers for sure. Yeah, the detent on the hedgehog is cash money, man. The hedgehog's amazing. I already said it's amazing. It's right there. You should buy it. Here's your link. Take take that. Hedgehog's great. I have no I have no notes. I have zero notes. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. It's excellent. Pick it up, throw it away, put it in your pocket. Up to you. Flip solo. What are you talking about? Lefty EDC, Kev, what's up, man? Good to see you, big dog. Hey, I was able to get a hold of Victor. Thank you for that contact. I really appreciate it. Uh, excuse me. Kevin is in the house. I was tuning into his live stream last night for a little bit. Uh, excuse me. Definitely demonetized now. Talking about huff and glue. Yeah, I know. I know. Um, well, dude, we're so close to 100. I want to hold out. But we. this is not going to be a full three-hour stream. You know? So we got to get these new rivals out. Do you have a P.O. box? I do not. It's on my to-do list. Um, I just need to do it. It's like 300 bucks for the year. I just need to do the damn thing. Um, how do I send you a knife? Mr. Cheezel, I need to set up a, a P.O. box is what I need to do. It might even be cheaper than that. I don't know. Not, sol not sold on Vosti. Tried four different. All felt like crap. What are you talking about, dude? What are you talking about? Oh, you you tried four different Vosteeds and they all felt like crap? What Vosteeds? The RS Chaos is incredible. The Hedgehog is amazing. Every single version of the Raccoon is cash money. Uh, what other ones? I bleh, The only Vosteed I ever played with that I was like ho-hum about was the Thunderbird, just because the detent wasn't all that good. Um, But, cool, stop burping. Sorry, sorry, forgive me. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think of a Vosti I've handled where I was like, ooh, they've all been good. The Corgi's great. Love the new Sheep's Foot Corgi. I need to check one of those out. This is sick. What? They do an amazing job with their crossbar locks, too. As far as I'm concerned, they do the best job with their crossbar locks. I don't know how they're doing it. This is gnarly. Big fan of that. The, uh, the Dotson's amazing. Palmer Connolly, the same as everybody else, 59, 60 HRC. You know, the mini nightshade's great. Oh, oh, so I don't have to, Kev, thanks for the pro tip, man. I don't have to buy the biggest PO box. Okay. I just get a regular PO box and they, they, they hold the packages. Gotcha. All right. I can handle that. I can deal with that. The new uh, Ankylos, awesome. Yeah. The little mini Labrador's really good. 
I'm just curious which uh, which models you handled that you were not sold on because they've all been great for me. Yeah, some of the earlier ones, they were kind of figuring it out for sure, but everything they've done in like the past eight to ten months has been amazing. Um, Do you have any hinderer? I had one. I bought a half-track warning in MagnaCut. It just wasn't for me. It didn't cut for shit. I put a new edge on it. It cut for like a week. And then it wouldn't cut for shit, so I sold it. I had some detent, detent lash issues too. It was not a well-made thing at all. Especially for the price. Not, it is not worth the money. It is not even close to being worth the money. But yeah. Yeah, some of the older ones were okay. They had their issues, but they've, they have figured it out. And they are dialed in, man. They are dialed in. I mean, the Dotson's probably... Uh, in my entire collection, I'd say the Dotson's my favorite crossbar lock. Which isn't saying a lot, but... You know. Jalapeno flavored condoms? Kinky. I'm into it. Titanium Justin, what's up, dude? Good to see you. Funland. Hey, everybody. Can't stay at work? That's alright. We'll be here when you need us. Only reason to get a big one is like legal shit where you can't trust anyone else or whatever. Or you're dumb and don't know. So me. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Bruh. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, the RS Chaos is amazing, man. F to me, that was like the big turning point. Blade Show last year, they teased the RS Chaos. Ever since then, man, it's been banger after banger. I, I own, I do own a Strider. I have the, uh, SJ 75 baby Huey. It was a gift from Cincy Geo. I have it. Cuts great. I love the grind on it. Action is, is really bad, but it's a really good knife. Does that make sense? Pocket clip sucks too, but I, I just love that knife. It was a very kind gift from a viewer and I will keep it forever. Oh is there crossbar God. lock? Monetization? You need to worry more about being arrested by the fashion police. La 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 la. What is wrong with my Roger Federer? What is wrong with this? With my Roger Federer hoodie? Huh? You got something against the goat? William? Huh? Tinkly bells, man. Love you, dude. Tinkles. Uh, by the way, this was the shirt that's gonna get us demonetized. It's that one. That's it. That's all it is. You're welcome. Uh, <laughs> there you go. It came free with my gamer subs. Um, new arrivals. We're so close to hundred. Can we get six more in here? Just got me the Berg blades barber. I got my barber button lock out right now. Love it. Love it to death. Um, and to answer the question about the lock, the, uh, access lock on Vosteed versus Kaiser. I've only handled one Kaiser with the, with the, with the, the what's it called the lock their their lock whatever the, with the crossbar lock and it was the sub three obk it was good it's not as good not as good as vostids every vostid i ever had with the crossbar lock has like it, it like a legitimate spring tension and a it feels like a real detent it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't but it, it has a, a so much resistance that it almost feels assisted when you get past the breaking point it's amazing I, Vosti, I'm telling you, Vosti does the best job with crossbar locks right now. Link to the shirt asking for a friend. Uh, you just go to gamersups.com. Buy some gamersups and, uh, you can get a shirt. Uh, Meredith, what's up? How you doing? Good to see you. Uh, Sam Edwards, are you going to be at Blade Atlanta? I'm not going to be in Atlanta this year. We have a family vacation planned. Considering I haven't had a real non-working vacation since 2016. It's time. So... Going to Charleston. Gonna sit on the beach and do nothing. If I'm cap if I'm even capable of that. I don't know that I'm capable of doing nothing, but I'm gonna try. The clutch lock, thank you. Absolute geisha fashion sense. I'm gonna take this geisha and put it in your tight little pooper. Uh <laughs> Chef Rocky, what's up, man? Good to see you. Alright, we got a hundred in here. Didn't think we were gonna do it. Let's get to some new arrivals. First off, Kaiser with the hookup. Speaking of Kaiser. 
I need a fucking cleaning cloth. Hold on. Um. All the Hanks in the world. We'll use the Sushi Hank. I like the Sushi Hank. Sushi Hank. Kaiser with the hookup. I did. They reached out. They're like, hey, what do you want to review? And I gave them a list and they started to send me stuff. First off, the Momo. We finally got a Momo, dude. Oh, it's nuts. <laughs> it's so nuts. Isle of Palms boring as fuck. ADHD will kick in. I don't know. I've been before. They got tennis courts. I'll go play tennis with some old ladies or something. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. It's ridiculous. It's redonkulous, man. Big ridiculous flipper tab, 154 cm. Basically, a kitchen knife, honestly, opened up. That's pretty much what this is. We're talking kitchen knife territory. Action's good. It's just so long. It can be awkward. It's kind of awkward at times. For my tiny little baby boy hands. But this knife's sick. I don't... <laughs> I've wanted to check one of these out since they first announced it. You can reverse flick it, but I'm going to have a spidey hole added right here. Right here. Maybe. Maybe thumb studs. I don't know. Something. I need more. Use it in the kitchen. Yeah, I. Uh, what was I using it for? I, I cut up some pizza with it last night. But yeah, the Momo's sick. It's in stock. I have a Kaiser link somewhere, maybe. Don't I? There it is. Boop. I'll play pickleball with some old ladies, dude. Are you kidding me? Sign me up. But there it is. Momo, it's sick. I uh, I have no no notes. Uh, I think a smaller version of this knife would be pretty pretty badass. But it's endearing that it is so big. It's There's something so satisfying about it. I love pickleball. I do. I, I'm, unironically, I love pickleball. <laughs> but yeah, Momo. Finally, finally got a Momo. Then, yesterday, we got a package from Rame, another package from Rame. Uh, this one's wild. This one's wild. Not usually my speed, you know? That piece was hard. I think you're going stale. You can do studs and a hole and a fuller in that. I have, I have options. I have room for options. This is the Chameleon from Rame, which is just, I can't even show it to you. It's the mirror polished lightning anno, full titanium build, lightning anno backspacer, milled texture, like decorative pattern. This thing's wild. Wild. Not the best detent, not nearly enough spring tension. I'd like to see them use some stronger springs or stretch them out some more. But the placement of the studs is nice. Do you golf? I used to golf a lot. I have a nice set of clubs. I just don't have time to golf now. Kathleen Smith, what's up, dude? It's a good knife. Pocket clip works great. My issue with Lightning Anno... One, I am the sausage grease king. I am the king of the greasy boy. I'm the king of greasy boys. The overlord of grease. So these handles, with their, like, when they're high polish and like super slick... They just don't work for me. They just do not work for me. I mean, am I going to hard use something that looks like this? Probably not. But action's fine. On bearings. Detent could be a little better. A little more spring tension. I've seen worse for more money. So I bet you there's a custom out there that looks way worse with this same kind of pattern. And it's like $1,000. It's genuinely not a bad knife. I just wish it was in other other colorways. That's it. I just wish it was in a, in a like a black on black would be clean. Cuts great, carries well. All in all, not a bad knife at all. Fun to fidget with, but it's just the the lightning anno I could do without. I could do without the lightning anno. It also makes it impossible to photograph. Like I can't even. Oh, there. Kind of. You can kind of see it. Oh. There, there you go. Kind of a little bit. Oop, can I? There it is. There it is. A little bit. That would pair great with a mermaid. Yeah. 
But like I said, good knife. It just I need different color options. That's that's my notes. Those are my notes. Stronger springs, different color options, be cash money. I wouldn't I wouldn't worry about it too much. Last but very much not least on the new rival list is the one I bought. Um, and this is why the video is titled "I Really Need to Learn to Read the Specs." Um, I really do. It's because I read the specs on this knife, but not the right ones. Apparently, I read the wrong specs. I read the incorrect specs. Looks fucked up. <laughs> I mean, I'll. We'll see. We'll see how long it lasts. I'll probably end up giving it away to one of you guys. So you're welcome. Enjoy it. Uh, this is the Rayot T6000, and it is ridiculous. This profile, sick, right? Like, a gorgeous, absurd, gnarly profile. Here's the problem, you ready? I like the blade, belt satin, I wish it was a hollow grind, M390, nice decorative swedge, flicking hole, fuller and all that good stuff. Zirconium accents? Zirk, here's where the problems start. Are you kidding me? Look how thick this is! It is legitimately 0.8 inches thick. It's damn near an inch thick. It's absurd. I read the blade length and the overall length, and that's it. And I was like, perfect, I want one of those. <laughs> I did not read that the blade stock is a quarter inch. I also did not read that the knife handle is an inch thick. <laughs> if you count the clip, it's over an inch. Uh, zirconium backspacer as well. I got this on DLT. I think they're on White Mountain Knives right now, which is pretty crazy. The action is incredible. The action's really, really good. Detents money. Makes a good noise on bearings. You can reverse flick it. It's just so big and so heavy. It's so girt. Why am I out of focus? It's so girthy that it just, it can be uncomfortable to reverse flick. But you can do it. You can do it. Ergo's are really nice. You got kind of like a subtle poon right here. Really nice finger choil, choke up. It cuts really well. I paid just over 500 bucks for it. Uh, <laughs> 497 is the retail, but I had to pay for shipping and taxes with DLT. So It's not the length that matters. It's true, and that's going to be the title of the video. Length versus girth is going to be the title of the video. <laughs> it's a really good knife. I mean, it is such an impressive piece of engineering. It also has the, the, like the Frankenstein bolts that like lock it closed. And then you, you have a switch on the back that you slide forward and it pops those out so you can open it. And then when it's open, pop them in and it's basically a fixed blade. External blade stops, freaking the, de the, the Frankenstein bolts and the frame lock. This thing's triple locked up. It's ridiculous. It's a ridiculous thing. I like it. It's very endearing. I carried this all day yesterday. Um, it, it carries really well. The clip, I had my doubts about. I was a little concerned about the clip. The clip works great. It, it's super easy in and out of the pocket. It takes up a lot of room. But uh, I carried it all day, and I got used to it. Excuse me. I got used to it pretty quick. I don't know, man. But it is an absolute tank. It's just a tank of a knife. I think it would have been cooler with a with a hollow grind, but I get why they didn't. The whole point of this is to be like overbuilt and sturdy, you know. Yeah, dang Ross, this is the T six thousand. Girth Brooks. <laughs> Hi, my name's Girth Brooks. <laughs> that was good. That's rich. The locking buttons could be better? What do you mean? What does that mean? They could be smoother. There's a little bit of grit on the Frankenstein bolts. But it works fine. I don't understand what you mean. Yeah, I think it's cool. I, I'm, I had my doubts. It's funny. You'll see in the unboxing, I'm like, dude, am I really going to keep this? When You know, how long will I keep this? I'm probably going to sell it in a month. I, it's growing on me a lot. I, I had my doubts when I first opened it. I was like, good God, what have I gotten myself into? But something about it, man. And I don't have that many kind of big, stupid knives like this. You know? I feel like every collection needs a few. Uh, actually, Der Peppenhorst, I wear uh, Lululemons, so you can suck a fat one, dude. 
wish I was joking. I wear Lulu's, man. They're the comfiest pants on the planet. I get it. I get why the white girls love them. It's magical. Not the leggings, but the ABC. The ABC pants? Oh. Game changers, dude. Game changers. The king of the stretchy pants. But there you go. The T6000. It is in the house. It is in my hand. And it is fucking nuts. Uh... <laughs> It's it, Like I said, it's just so impressive that it works so well being this big and having all these crazy locking mechanisms and shit. A Frankenstein Factor B3 for $600? Edgy American, what's up, man? Good to see you. Oh, no more liquid death. R.I.P. How am I going to survive for another hour? So today's your girth day? <laughs> Cole Swain and his Lulu. Boy, you, dude, you guys are dumb. If you're sleeping on the Lululemon ABCs, you're dumb. But I got a pro tip for you uh, on the Lululemon ABC pants. The um, Old Navy makes copies, makes like a like an exact copy for like 30 bucks a pair. Here. 32 bucks right now. They're so comfy. 32 bones. The Lululemons are not cheap. There they are. The ABC pants. They're $130 a pair. But they're the most comfortable pair of pants I've ever owned in my entire life. It's it's witchcraft. I don't know what kind of child labor goes into these. But good God. Those kids are doing the Lord's work. Let me tell you. They're so comfy. I, I can't. Nothing. Nothing even comes close. Nothing I've ever worn comes close. So if you want to uh, be comfortable and look good, you know, get your act together. Stop horsing around. Had never heard my fashion live stream guy only just put us on. I roll in 5.11s. I got pockets. Lots of pockets in half of that BS price. I'm telling you, man, it's not BS. But I get the slim techs. The slim techs from Old Navy are pretty are like 99% the same for $33. So if you need nice pants, that's what you need in your life. Get it together. I will never... Here's the thing. I will never in my life buy pants... For EDC. I will dance. What kind of nonsense is that? I need four pockets. And the uh, the Lulus have six. So we're good, dude. You know what I mean? Lunch break finally. What's good, Pizheads? Good to see you, Kaleidoscope. What's your most wanted knife collaboration? You asking me? Like what company I want to work with? Or what are you asking? Marty, what's up, man? We're talking about pants. I'm getting gayer every minute I watch this. Look, dude. Maybe you need to get in touch with your feminine side, pal. Maybe you need to learn how to dress. Maybe you should take notes. You should see my wardrobe. It's bigger than my wife's. Just saying. Just saying. Levi's? Levi's are getting expensive too, man. I haven't owned a pair of Levi's in God knows how long. To be fair, I don't wear jeans. I don't wear jeans. I have two pairs of jeans that are all fucked up because I only wear them when I'm like changing the oil or, or doing heavy duty yard work. That's it. Um, I do have a pair of Wranglers somewhere, but they're way too tight. I bought them when I was in like the seventh grade and they are some ass huggers, dude. Let me tell you. Nick Travellini, what's up, man? Good to see you. Wait, y'all wear pants? <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> to be fair, nine times out of ten, I'm in sweats, baby. I'm in sweats or I'm in like gym shorts. I gotta be honest with you. But if I'm leaving the house, I'm looking good. Period. What two knife companies do you wish would collaborate? I guess I still don't understand the, cl the question, Landon. Um, I will not be in Atlanta. No, I'm sorry. If you hadn't asked to hug. Oh, Lone Star, you have no idea. You have no idea what kind of cheeks I'm smuggling, dude. You have no idea the yams I got. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I have very little ass. It, it, it is what it is. That is what I said. 
Bro, my Polar Skate Co. pants are like 120s. It's insane, but good quality. Interesting. Yeah, I wear dress pants. I wear like slacks or chinos pretty much everywhere. Um, Because khakis uh, get destroyed. I'll destroy them like actual khakis. And same with jeans. My dress pants and my chinos last way longer than my any pair of jeans I've ever owned. Except for my Levi's. I have a pair of Levi's with no holes, man. Which is magical, because they're like 15, 20 years old. Uh, but anyway, I highly recommend, dude, go, go to a Lulu store with your with your significant other, you know? And just go try them on. Go get the size. Go try them on. You, you will thank me. You'll come back here, and you'll be like, oh my god, Tri-State, you were so right. You were so right. I had no idea such comfort existed in this world. Such comfort and style. It'll, it'll rip your tits off. Or go to Old Navy and try the whatever ones. They're the same. I have four pairs of pants. I have a, probably like 20 pairs of pants. I have like 300 dress shirts. <laughs> I think I have like 120 neckties. I have a lot of clothes. It's a problem. I have a lot of t-shirts too, but you know, is what it is. Cole's ass is three handkerchiefs and a fat wallet. That's, well, look, if we, look, I'll, I'll, I'll send ass pics in the discourse. <laughs> <coughs> oh God. Uh, what two designers is, I understood the question. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, that question's fucking me up, man. I don't, I don't guess I just don't understand it. Um, um, Probably me and Devo. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, I think I would love to see Br Craig Brown make like some more slightly more affordable production models. That's probably the thing I'd like to see more of with with his design language and just his existing designs. Like, if Tactile did a, a, a Cortex XL, so it's still All-American made, but it's under 400 bucks. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, sign me up. The Knight's Edge. What's up, man? Good to see you. Uh, I'm a big fat man, so that's not going to work. <laughs> you should donate some dress shirts. You, you're never going back into the insurance biz. You got... F you got a... You got future in piss and balls. <laughs> Try state EDC, the king of piss and balls. Why is this Friday and not Thursday? Uh, I had to, wasn't able to do a stream yesterday. I was out, I was uh, actually working. I was doing, I had important ball business to take care of. M Meredith, are you talking about my ass being a concealed carry weapon? True. It's true. Uh, <laughs> yams of mass destruction. James Brand and Benchmade, it'd be a twelve. It'd be three grand. How would that ever be under four hundred bucks? Okay, even if it's even if it, as long as it's cheaper than what than what a Craig Brown is now, I think they could pull it off. Are you kidding me? I think you pull it off. But yeah, dang Ross. Honestly, yeah, that's all I want. I want him. I want him to make more. God damn it, so I can actually buy the damn things. I still haven't even touched a, a Cortex XL. I haven't even looked at one. And I'm afraid to because it's just going to piss me off that I don't have one. You know what I mean? Uh, the entire drive I was crying about missing it. I know, Chuck. You didn't miss it. It's not true. What but? Kara, get out of here. Kara, get out of here. What are you doing? You're blowing up my spot, bro. God. Bruh. Devo plus piss equals banger. Plus plus the the piss prints. I dude, I'm I'll I definitely do a Devo. I'd do a Devo in the future. We already talked about this, Kev, but I'd do it. I'd do it. Less than eight hundred, maybe. I don't wear any shorts sh shorts shorter than my knees. <gasps> That's what we need to do. I don't really have any other plans for the rest of this stream, and I gotta cut it off like one like before two o'clock. So we're not gonna make it all three hours, but. Do you know what we needed to do? We need, we meant to do this a long time ago. We were going to make Hoochie Daddy shorts as a family. Is what we were going to do. 
Devo plus Jack Wolf, Machine Wise and Rayot. I don't know, dude. I'm glad. I just hope Machine Wise can keep up with production. When I look at my collection as a whole, there's a pretty hard cap at 400. Yeah, same, same. Four four fifty is like my my ceiling for the most part. Every once in a while, I'll, I'll stray from the path, but for the most part, that's that's my sweet spot. That's like to me, that's. What you can get between a hundred dollars and four fifty is wild. Like there's almost no reason to go beyond that. Yeah, that's me, Parker, the scammer. I'm a scammer. <laughs> a Rayot made Diva would be cool, but I don't know. We we know the turnaround time would just take uh, a lifetime. Cole, you need to cut it off at 1 p.m. We're busy on Fridays. See, kids, we're in trouble. We only have 30 minutes. Oh, God! We're supposed to make, make Hoochie Daddy shorts. So the ring I bought was making me sick, so I can't wear it? What kind of ring? Like a, like a, what kind of ring? You bought a ring and it made you sick? That's my cap. That was my cap. Recently, it's become my base. Well, you know. It's a treacherous world that we live in, man. It's a very dangerous world. Wrap it up, Cole. Adulting awaits. Never, ever, never from my cold dead hands. Let me let me see if I can find those jeans and we can get some hoochie daddy shorts going. It's been getting hot. We gotta do this. We'll work project. I'm thinking, I'm thinking these are the ones that need to go. I'm thinking these are the ones that need to go. These, I earn these holes, by the way. The, the Look, can you guys tell I carry knives? Can you guys tell I carry knives? Look at my pockets. Are you kidding me? Here's my question, though. Here's my question. It's a shame, because these jeans used to fit so well. Um, how high up are we going? How high are we taking these? Like, should we start at, like, John Cena length and then just, like, work our way up? That's what I'm thinking. Like, we <laughs> we start at John Cena and we work our way up to, like, you know, Miami Vice kind of height. <laughs> Chores. But, yeah, these, these, are, these need to be sacrificed for, for... Oh, my God! Wow! Would you look at that? It's Tri-State the Scammer. It's me. I'm out here scamming. I'm out here scamming, baby. Um, I'll tell you what. I know this is going to be a criminal activity, but I need scissors for this job. If I use a knife, I'm going to go to the hospital. So. Daisy Dukes, baby. Go straight. Daisy Dukes. All right, so I'm thinking, I'm, I'm just going to start at John Cena height, is what I'm going to do. I also need to make sure that the, uh... Oh know. my god! Wow! I met Tri-State at Blade Show. I can confirm, his butt is small, but it is tight. Cop to <laughs> feel before at Kara showed up. Kissing face, kissing face, kissing face. XO, 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 the L, 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 L. I agree. So let's start here. I'm just going in for the kill, boys. Dude, this is some good denim. I'm struggling here. Try on, then cut again. Yes, dear. I'm going John Cena height with the first cut. That might be pretty short. Oh, God. That might be pretty damn short. <laughs> I was just trying to cut above the damage. That's all. All right. Make sure we line this up real nice. That'll be good. <laughs> Dude, my Hoochie Daddy era begins... 
These scissors suck, dude. Do you have any idea how much they would charge you for this from a designer store? Thousands. Oh my god! Wow! Jorts, 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 jorts. That's a pretty time. Whoa, boy. Them are those. Whoa, dude. It's like just below the pockets. I tried. I just needed to cut above the damage. Let me go slip into these. Let me go slip into something a little more comfortable real quick. <laughs> oh, God, dude. Oh, dude. Oh, boys. You are in for a treat, dude. Oh, my God. Oh, dude, you have no idea. You have no idea. <laughs> you have no idea, dude. Let me bump that up a little bit. Get you the full, get you the full spread going. Check them out. Yeah, any any higher than this, any higher than this, we got a problem, dude. Any higher than that, we got a real issue, huh? Look at them. What do you think about that, right, sure, huh? What do you? <laughs> Oh, I'm going to throw up, dude. Holy shit. <laughs> dude. Damn. I got to tell you, though. I got to tell you. I mean, I'm, I can, you know, put me, put me in, put me in, coach. Put me in, dude. You know what I'm saying? Damn. You like that? You like what you see? This shirt, too, really rounds out the outfit, I think. You know? Here, let me lower this a little bit. Higher? Kara wants me to go higher with it? Kara, I can literally hear Kara downstairs, it's like, scream laughing. <laughs> what do you think about that? Put on my stretchy pants, dude. Huh? Oh, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm really giving off Lieutenant Dangle vibes right now. Dude, any higher than this, my fucking underwear is going to be hanging out. You know? <laughs> Does a knife fit in the pocket? Makes me makes me want to go jelking. <laughs> Kara's throwing money at me. She wants me to go... <laughs> But Kara's saying the higher for the for the full hoochie daddy effect. What do we think? What do we think? Are we going higher? Do we go higher? I'll, I'll add a I'll add a I'll add a poll. Higher? Yes or no? <laughs> I'll let you guys vote on that. Ben Malone, good good timing, dude. Good timing. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Check them out. Check it out. You know, check her out. <laughs> Giving Joe dirt vibes. It's Joe Dierte. It's pronounced Dierte. <laughs> How much higher are we going? I'll let you guys do that. I gotta piss. I gotta tell you. I have to be honest with you. So comfortable. Oh my like, god! Very comfortable. Wow. Higher, higher, more. Smiley face, smiley <laughs> face, crying face. All right, you guys vote. Add a poll. Look, don't tip me with a good time. Pockets still work. I can't confirm that.
All right, what are we thinking, kids? 59 votes are in. I got to tell you, man, unbelievable comfort. Unbelievable levels of comfort here so far. Oh, God. Oh, God. Let me crank that down a little bit. Crank her down a little bit. Knife Canut 69. Who are these reasonable people voting no? <laughs> Get them out of here. 85% yes. Okay, that's over 50% of the vote. All right, well, let me let me go change again. Another dramatic... Uh, Dramatic wardrobe change real quick. The front pocket needs to be hanging out of the bottom. All right. Dude, there's, they're so tight. I need you guys to understand how tight these are. They're so tight. But they got good stretch. Let me let me switch. By the way, we'll be raffling off the legs for, uh, for St. Jude. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Bet you guys didn't think this was going to happen today, did you, huh? How were they while draining the main vein? I got to tell you, easy access, man. So where's the pocket at? Pocket's right here. That's a lot. That's a lot of material I got to lose, dude. Basically to here. I'm going to lose another six inches, man. My balls are going to be hanging out of here. You know? What do you guys think? What are you guys thinking? I'm thinking right... Dude, that is like... I mean... That's... that's, uh, that's uh, this will only benefit Kara. You don't know. One foot higher? It's just underwear at that point? I mean, right here... What? Kara wants to help? Kara wants Kara wants to help, apparently. What? Not that high? Alright, Kara's saying Kara's saying like about half that much. So like right here. Like right here. Okay. Alright. Okay, I can live with that, as long as my nuts aren't hanging off. Yes. Open sesame. What are you, you gonna do it? Here, do you want scissors? Well, these scissors suck. All right, Kara's, Kara's, Kara's. <laughs> Kara's taking over. Kara's taking control. <laughs> the denim thong? Yeah, that's like what we're on our way to. Y'all are animals. You all are animals. Forty-five degree angle from the top of the butt to the hip. Just a nice V, a nice deep V cut. Yeah, all right. God, dude, more. <laughs> I gotta tell you, man, they fit good. They fit real tight. Your nuts hang six, six inches. I don't want to talk about it, uh, dear Pepin Horst. You know, my testicles are are my own business. They're my own problem that I have to deal with. Okay. You're already demonetized. Now the old man cherries are coming out. <laughs> All right, let's end the poll. I think that's a landslide. I'm happy with it. Isaiah Barnett. Now, this is something I'll subscribe to. Do you want to ever wear these? Listen to Kara. Kara's taking taking control. Kara's taking control. A denim bikini might look good. Look, I have more beat up shitty old jeans somewhere, so. A quarter inch below the pocket. Alright, that's pretty that's pretty high, dude. That's pretty that's pretty that's up there. That's up there, man. Oh, God, I don't know if I can take much more. <laughs> oh, boy. A denim banana hammock would be sick. <laughs> How good are they? Oh, you only lost a little bit. It's not that dramatic. She only shaved off a couple inches. 
I feel like we could go higher, but that's okay. All right, all right. Let me dramatic another dramatic costume change. Kara's having way too much fun with this. She's having far too much fun with this. All right, gang, dramatic reveal. Let me bump up the brightness a little bit. Bring it down. Bring him down. Check him out. Check him out, dude. And look, I can. I got room. I got room to wiggle and jiggle in here. Can I carry a big fat knife in these? You bet your tits I can. You bet your ass I can, dude. Look, bold, bold. These are wearable. I wear these. I'm, I am wearing these. I'm wearing these the rest of the day. Well, hey there, sweetheart. Are you single? <laughs> you <laughs> I mean, I did. Still uneven and not short enough? No, they're good. That's good. Look, dog, we're good. We're in business. They're so tight. <laughs> My God, why are they so tight? Check them out. Hell yeah. Oh, that's good. That's nice. <laughs> that's nice. Take four more inches. There'll be nothing left. There'll be nothing left. I will legitimately wear these in South Carolina on vacation. I'll wear them. I'll wear them, dude. You should go out and start squatting in front of people. Dude, they're tight. When I sit down, they are tight. Oh, God. Oh. Tighten the, around the gentleman sausage, if you know what I mean. Wow. There you go, dude. Bet you didn't see that coming. I'm wearing them. I'm rocking these the rest of the day. Fight me, dude. My neighbors are going to be like, what the fuck is wrong with him? <laughs> Break out the dick ruler. Yeah, all right. Um, we're looking at inseam five inches. We're looking at a five inch inseam here. It's pretty tight. It's pretty tight, dude. Five squats for every donation. Total length is barely a foot. Like barely. My underwear is almost as long as these. So use your imagination there. Yeah, inseam's like four and a half inches. That's pretty good, dude. That's pretty good. That's this pretty. pretty ew. Ew, let him break in. Let it, <laughs> you got to earn it. Cutting them didn't make it tighter. Those jeans were tight before. These are old jeans. These are jeans that I wore when I was in like high school. So yeah. Kara saying five squats for every donation. <laughs> tight you. like a twager. What? Toy, toy like a toyger tinkly bells six months paul thank you man uh obviously you'll be cutting the grass in those no shirt all summer blasting my nips nips out hoochie daddy shorts on all the all the single ladies in the neighborhood watch out watch out need to get my dad bod going I just need to just eat a bunch of pasta and drink a bunch of like cheap natty light beer get a nice gut going call it a day Thighs and belly buttons. I need a cigarette. <laughs> you need special underwear for those. Well, you're probably right. This is the kind of entertainment you will not get anywhere else in the knife community. Uh, I just want to let you know that. So if you want to keep the fun going, become a channel member, donate, subscribe, hit me up on Instagram and on TikTok, join the Patreon. Maybe we can uh, afford to hack up some more Hoochie Daddy shorts. This is the summer of the Hoochie Daddy shorts. I have a question though. Hoochie Daddy shorts. Can you just buy them? Oh, wow. Okay. Well, you can. You sure can. Those are those are Hoochie Daddy shorts from Chubby's. Five inch inseam, inseam? Bro, these are four and a half. Four inch inseam? Good God. Oh, you can buy them, dude. I need to do a little shopping before the vacation begins. Oh, my you know God.
Do those squats facing away from the camera. <laughs> you can't do that when I got lungs full of bait, dude. I'll pass out. <laughs> oh, boy. Cut out the crotch and make them a skirt. I'm not. A little, little jean skirt. Cole, put the scraps on like a garter. You mean to wear these? I don't think they're uh, tight enough. Yeah, they're not tight enough. I'll, I'll do that for your eyes only, dear. How about that? Cease and desist oh on the nips. God! <laughs> wow! Cease and desist on the nips. I have a copyright. Yeah, all right, whatever, dude. What you don't have a copyright on is Hoochie Daddy shorts. In the 90s, they were just called shorts. That's true. Damn it, I have to go back to work. Thanks for the good vibes, y'all. Later, Kara, Cole, and chat. Brian, love you, man. Thanks for hanging out, dude. Where's the fanny pack? Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Big brain moves. Hold on. God bless. These are tight. Lord Jesus. Yeah. Whoa. Almost passed away. Yeah, dude. We got to get this thing going. Huh? There it is. Now we're talking. Can't fuck with me, dude. You can't fuck with this. Look at this. Huh? You kidding me, dude? You kidding me right now? You can't fuck with this outfit? With this vibe? Bro, I'm ready for summer. I'm ready for summer, dude. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, bro, you can't. Oh, what's that? You need. Oh, what's that, little Billy? You need a. What you. A, oh, what's that, sweetheart? You need chapstick? Here you go. Here you go. Dude, check him out. <laughs> can't touch this. You can't touch this build, bro. This is an OP build. Nobody can touch it. It's flawless. Flawless execution. There's three feet of slack in that strap. Yeah, I got a small waist, dude. What do you want from me? Next Blade Show outfit picked out. Well, it'll be Blade Show West. I think the Mormons might not like it too much. Joe Kasprick, go go out in public like that and you'll definitely get beat up. But I'll be carrying my T6000 and my Hoochie Daddy shorts. I'll be good. I'll be good, dude. ATK, just spectacular. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Get out the New Balance. Yeah, dude. That's I need some white New Balance. Stuff a sock in there at least. <laughs> Going to King's Island. <laughs> oh, boy. The outfit requires a Captain Morgan leg up stance constantly. I agree. I agree, Dan. Small pee, pee. <laughs> I do have the Crocs. I do. I don't know that I've shown you guys these. Hold on. Let me grab the Crocs. I think the Crocs will really complete the whole outfit. Um, was all that made in the USA? Yes. Probably. Hold on. Got to get the Crocs. So I'm pretty sure Tyler Williams sent these to me, bought these for me. Oh, they're covered in grass and shit. Check these out, dude. When uh, a few live streams ago, we were talking about I needed like good house shoes, and then of course I've taken them outside. I'm pretty sure these are the restaurant ones. These are like the slip-proof restaurant ones, but the Galaxy Crocs, the Galaxy Crocs, dude. I think this this completes the outfit pretty well. Oh, bro. <laughs> Oh, dude. Oh, you have no idea how powerful this is, dude. Check it out. I mean, you can't touch this. You can't touch this, dude. This is too powerful. I'm trying to get the microphone out of the way. This is far too powerful, dude. 
Yep, no holes. Yeah, yeah, these are the restaurant ones, but the Galaxy Crocs. Yeah, dude. Lowe's trip now. <laughs> I don't need anything from Lowe's right now. I just threw up. You love it. You love it. You're you dirty boy. Ontario Trail Riders, you picked a weird time to come in, pal. Ah. But I'm glad you're here. Puts Mike right up to pee pee. Dude, that's how we operate around here. Everyday Cleveland, yep. Leg day skipped for my entire life. I'm a little... I, look, I'm, I got a tennis build, man. I'm, I'm a tennis player. You know? You know what I mean? Got to restart my edge. Sorry. Kara's saying, yes, I do have to go to Lowe's. I don't want to go to Lowe's. I don't want to go to Lowe's. Those aren't Crocs. Those are slippers. Yeah. Chad, is this real? <laughs> Chad, is this real? Oh, we only have a few minutes left. Uh, but this has been a lot of fun. This has been a real hoot. Crocs with socks, blasphemy. Sorry, dude, I had socks on. Um, those aren't Crocs, those are slippers. Crocs with socks is blasphemy. Sorry, I don't know the rules. I don't know the rules of the Croc, dude. Cold chug. Well, this one was left over from last night, so whatever. You know, lukewarm. A little bit of a lukewarm uh, liquid death never hurt nobody. Y'all don't want none. Y'all don't want none of this, dude. Uh, you can't handle it, man. It's AI. Yeah, this is all AI generated. Everything you just saw is AI generated. None of it's real. Nothing you've seen is real. We better get some piss on the stream today. Here you go. Here you go. Is that good? What about this? Is this good? Spencer, there you go. There you go, pal. I got you, dog. Try not to disappoint. We definitely need to Lowe's live in that outfit. Dude. I uh, I don't know that I have the balls to do it. I'll I'll lounge out. I, I'd walk around Charleston like this because I don't live there. I'd be fine with that. Bro dressed up like a girl from the 2000s. Well, wakes up. It's just an, <laughs> wake up. It's just an illusion. Yeah. Is it 1 o'clock? It's just about 1 o'clock. We do have to wrap this up at 1 p.m. Sharp. Sharp. Are there any other suggestions? Questions? For me, personally. If you want pro tips on how to build the perfect Hoochie Daddy shorts, 5-inch inseam is probably cutting her a little close, but 5 is a safe space. Go with the 5-inch inseam, okay? And have your wife do it because she's got steadier hands than you. Those are my pro tips for Hoochie Daddy shorts. <laughs> How expensive is that little pisser? Oh, <laughs> this little pisser is what? How much are these? 550? But it's so good. Mike McLaughlin, if I'm lucky. Cole's acting like he has a reputation to maintain. This is my reputation. This is my reputation. I'm totally okay with it. I'm totally okay with this. Do you play WoW? I do not play WoW. I've never played WoW, actually. Um, collecting. Let's see. Well, just what this... Just what this is all fake. What? But I want 4-inch? So you're, you're, you're in the market for... Whoa! Where's the 4-inchers at, dude? Like, these... These, man. These are... Entertaining and educational. Like, these are up there, dude. I also don't have the legs. I don't have the structure. You know what I mean? But these are lit. These are lit. I'd wear those. 60 bucks for that? I'll be hitting she in after this. Spencer, no, but we want to start. What are we starting? Uh... You would be demonetized in Charleston. That's fine. What are you sucking on? Give us a vape review. I'm. S <laughs> I was about to say I'm sucking on Mike Tyson. Ah. You know what I mean? 
That's our time, though. I know a short stream today, not not three hours, but we'll be back Sunday morning, 11 a.m. Eastern, with a full live stream, uh, new video after this stream, obviously. But that is it. That is all. It's been a blast. It's been a hoot. And I've enjoyed every minute of it. And I hope you have as well. Thank you to everybody that donated, all the channel members, and all my Patreon members. Thank you so much. I'll be checking my, my, uh, my email. If you want in the Discord, you just need to tell me your YouTube name. Tell me your YouTube name. Why is it so bright all of a sudden? Hello? Tell me your YouTube name so I can verify who you are. But that's all. That's all she wrote. I'll see you guys on Sunday morning. Godspeed. You have a lovely weekend. Uh, take care now. Get those Hoochie Daddy shorts going, boys. It's Hoochie Daddy season. Now get out of here. I'm going to go strut my stuff around town. For all the...